All right, this table is completely sealed and now it's ready to be wet sanded. It's already got some uh, stain on it. You never wet a table like this or any kind of furniture or wood unless it's completely 100% sealed. And this one is. And then you put it in the hot sun and dry it really quick when you're done. But I don't got a sun because it's going down. So I'm going to use a heat gun, 2000 watt heat gun to dry it. Anyway, for the people that say, he's going to ruin that tabletop putting that water on it. No, you're not. People have been wet sanding for centuries. If you look at how our ancestors did wood, they did all sorts of funky techniques, including rubbing rocks, smooth rocks on them to make them smooth and make them feel good. They didn't have tools like we got now. And they also had sealers that were better than the chemical sealers we use now made out of egg whites things like that but still worked perfectly so anybody that says he's gonna ruin that tabletop well tell me have you ever done it before how many tabletops have you ruined if the answer is I've never done it before and I've never seen it done before and I've never seen any tops ruined before then shut up now watch what happens I don't need no nanny, nanny pamby Nancy ass beta male talk about wet the table. So I know what the hell I'm doing. This table is gonna turn out to be so good you won't believe. This thing will last 5,000 years. This thing will be in a museum someday. I started out with uh, 40 grit sandpaper to get this thing done all in real good. You can do 80. I don't have to go all the way down to 40. You can do 80. Now you still got to dry sand after all this nonsense. I call it nonsense because I don't like the water. But it's not nonsense because it preserves that table something fierce. And it makes it really nice. This table's, the wood on this table's already been hardened anyway. I heat treated this wood already. I got to get these board for board. I'll do this board and go around on the other side and, uh, and I'll get the three in the middle after this. And the sides are going to be redone because I decided to use a different color on it so I'm going to remove all this on the side it's going to be gone so I decided to uh different colors thank you to the people that'll be that'll be saying a bunch of nonsense talk about wetting the table and sanding it that's the people that are always self-taught and don't learn jack from nothing those know-it-all people i taught myself and i know everything i taught myself and i know everything there is to know and i'm going to go teach other people the nonsense because i'm self-taught i didn't learn nothing from any masters i taught myself then they go teach somebody else and the other person thinks they got some sense and they don't that it's like the blind leading the blind. Woodworking is not being self-taught. Woodworking is going to school and learning how to do it. Just like finishing. I've never went to finishing school. So every time I put a finish on a piece of furniture, I usually mess it up. And have to end up doing it again. Because I never went to finishing school. But I did go to carpentry school. And anyway, when this is done, I don't believe what you think. You know, I don't know. What about? I've not got the legs, and I don't want to show it off to get the legs on it. So maybe about another month or so, yeah, that long, before I get the legs on it and show this thing off sitting in the house. And, uh, well, that's going to be it for the sanding right now. Stay tuned. But stay tuned. Right after this, I've got two more boards to sand, and I'll show you a little. I'm going to dry it with a heat gun, but I won't show you, I'll show you the whole thing. I'll show you how I do it. And I'm only doing it, I'm only doing it with a heat gun. You hold it right now. All right, I'm drying it because the sun's not out now. And it's going back to its natural color. The reason that uh, I redid this whole process again a second time and decided to record the wet sanding was I never put varnish on a table before. So, so 
So after I put the varnish on, it didn't look too bad, but I didn't like it. And it gets my better judgment to use varnish to begin with on a professional looking table. I had to take it off. And to take it all back off, I used denatured, I poured denatured alcohol all over top of the table and used a paint scraper to scrape it off and then uh, sanded it before I did the wet sanding again because as I was refinishing the table because I didn't like the way it looked I uh, went ahead and did the wet sanding again and resealed the top before I wet sanded it and uh, now it's going back to pretty much its normal color it's going to be uh, sanded again to get some of those little black marks and things out of it it's going to be uh, dry sanded then uh, after that it's going to be uh, stained the right way stay away I'm telling you stay away stay away from varnish and all those plastic finishes don't do no don't, don't use those things they're a disaster waiting to happen and because of that I didn't have to but I did but because of that varnish I chose to redo the tabletop over again and that's extra a lot of extra work but who cares because in the end the product that is table and how good it's going to look that's going to speak volumes so if you got to redo something over again don't be some beta male simp whining and complaining. Be a man and do it. Get the job done. Life's about working. Life's about making mistakes. Life's about doing things you don't want to do. But in the end, it's worth it. This is a Stanley heat gun. Came with no accessories whatsoever. And it's 2,000 watts. This thing is fry bacon. Groupie, I seen her dancing. 